Hey guys, Happy New Year from Tony at CCXRC. 2015 was an awesome year with a lot of really cool things that happened, not only for me, but also for this channel here. Uh, I'm going to get into that, but first I just want to let you know that this video I'm going to be giving a shout out to a bunch of people that made this year and all the things that I talk about so special and so awesome. So 2015, I started with two RC cars. My first, which was a 110 scale Traxxas Gravedigger. Still one of my favorite trucks to drive. Love the look of it. Just an awesome and fun truck to run. Uh, whenever I get tired of just doing laps at the track or some other things, I just pull up the Grave Digger, pop some wheelies, uh, watch it jump and hit things and keep running, and it's a blast. Uh, but I've added to the collection this year significantly. I got an RC10 B4.2 race spec to take on the track, uh, the local track at Debbie's RC World when the low C10 was down. Uh, from there I got an Axial Yeti to bash with and then an Axial SCX-10. My boys and I liked the Axial so much, uh, the SCX-10, that I wanted to get another trail truck but I didn't have the money. So I traded the Yeti, got a G-Made Sawback. We ran that for a while and then I converted that to a Defender body, a D90 from RC Four Wheel Drive. Um, Star Wars came out this year. One of the really cool things that happened this year for me. Uh, I've been waiting a long time for Star Wars to release a new movie, and it finally happened. And along with that came the merchandising. The Millennium Falcon, the X-Wing, the AT-AT Walker RC vehicles, as well as more uh, that I didn't get because they were too toy grade for me. Uh, but these ones I really like. They're a lot of fun. I still play with them and run them all the time. Uh, so... Uh, but those videos have done really well. I like the Air Hogs ones quite a bit, especially the Millennium Falcon. And I saw Rich at 2RC Productions running the Hyper Tracks. And so I picked one of these up. Really fun little truck. Unfortunately, they're really hard to find. I got a little helicopter here. At work, we got um, a new drone that I use, or quadcopter DJI Phantom, their professional series 4K one. That is an awesome, awesome machine, and for work it just does amazing video. And I also picked up a plane, uh, a really large, just like a five or six foot wingspan, uh, a plane from uh, Hobby Zone or Hobby Wing or I don't know, whatever the big plane company is, I should know, but I can't even think of the name of it right now. Uh, but they're in the videos, I've flown it, I've crashed it, it's a lot of fun. Um, I got a SEMA drone, which I ended up giving to Nate, and I also got the BB-8 little uh, rolling Sphero that you control with your phone. So a lot of stuff. Got my son a Losi Mini Desert Truck for his birthday. Uh, I just got my dad an ECX Ruckus for Christmas, and I got a friend an ECX Amp. Uh, both of those were one-tenth scale and awesome trucks. I really like those two ECX trucks. They're, uh, they're really tough, uh, and they'll be a great starter truck for anybody but I'm not here to really talk about that oh <laughs> I forgot about this one my first Tamiya also my first full kit build which I just actually finished today um, and I'm looking forward to getting it out and running it has some issues though I can't figure out quite what with the um, the controls uh, whenever I hit the throttle it basically it wants to go full throttle and so I don't know if that's something with this uh, transmitter receiver system I picked up off of, off of Facebook um, through uh, basically a, a group there where you can buy and sell RC parts but yeah that's not what I want to talk about this is a different video what I want to do is I want to give a shout out to the people that have been really instrumental this year for me um, and people that have communicated a lot with and there's a lot of people that don't make this list that um, you know I wish I could give shout outs to I just don't want to take up too much time um, but there, there are a lot of you, and so I unfortunately am apologizing right now uh, that you're not on this list. Um, but first and foremost, I want to thank Jack with RC FPV Vids and Animation. When I started my channel, it wasn't long before Jack said, Hey, I've got a group on Google+, Plus. you should join it. There's a bunch of cool guys there. I joined it, didn't know much about Google+, Plus, uh, and that was kind of my start into it. For all of my other photography and other things that I've done, uh, I've always used Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, YouTube, you know, some other things, Tumblr. 
really never got into Google Plus, but now that I'm here, I really like it. Um, and so he was instrumental in that. He's kind of uh, been there for me for for Google Hangouts. We've chatted, we've talked. He's one of those guys that just loves the hobby and gives back and, and does a lot of giveaways for people. Um, and he gives more to this hobby than pretty much anybody I know. Um, really, really cool mate. Uh, and along with him is the Tank, or Francois. Uh, and the Tank RC, uh, it's really, really a cool guy. Uh, he does Google Hangouts that I've been a part of, and he's working with his son, and his son's doing some really cool stuff, Sebastian. In fact, when I changed my uh, sawback to a D90, I gave the sawback body to the tank because he was looking, his son wanted a Jeep body for a build that they were doing. So I went ahead and just gave it to him. Uh, but really, really cool guy. Nate, I met from RC Crawler Workbench, who lives here locally, which was cool. And so we've gone out trailing many times, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. He's a really, really cool guy. Uh, and I met a guy named Peter through him, who isn't on all of this necessarily, Google+, Plus, YouTube. Um, but locally, I just want to give a shout out to him. Really cool guy. You've seen his vehicles in quite a few of my trailing vids. He's got uh, the old Toyota uh, body that he's just now converted to an FJ Cruiser body on his SCX-10. And, uh, yeah, really, really, really fun guys to go out and, and trail with. Um, <clears throat> another person that I, I communicate with all the time is Rich from 2RC Productions. Really invests in people, uh, really helpful at answering questions. Very, very knowledgeable. You should check out his channel if you need help with anything. Uh, really cool guy. And along with him, and they're both part of Team Integrity RC on the uh, Google Plus and uh, is Josh at Midlife RC, and he's made me some cool uh, channel, YouTube channel logo uh, night lights, I guess. This one's more kind of a lamp I just keep on my desk. And so I bought this from him, and they custom made it. It's really, really, really quality work. Uh, Josh is just a really cool guy, and he's been a part of one of my hangouts, and uh, we've communicated back and forth about the nightlight thing and some stickers and some other things and um, and just about a whole bunch of RC stuff through Google+. Plus. Really, really like that guy. Uh, Joe Conti. Joe is like the first guy to watch any of my videos. I don't know if it's because of the time zone difference and most of the times I'm shooting and editing these things late at night and so they're not posted till like 1 or 2 a.m. here Eastern time zone and it's like the perfect time for him but one of the first guys to comment uh, he's got some of the coolest uh, axial wraith videos you'll see the, the locations that he shoots in are just stunning uh, and anybody would dream of taking a trail truck on um, but a lot of fun banter between he and I and uh, I'll reply and then he'll reply back he's very very engaged online and that's a lot of fun and really good for community uh, who else? Who else am I? I don't want to miss some people. Oh, oh, uh, John at Too Quick For You 104? 104? I don't know how you say it exactly. Uh, but he does some really cool painting and body work and really, really fast car stuff. Stuff I'm not into yet, though I really am interested in. I, I was looking at a dragster the other day, to be honest. Uh, and showing it to my wife, seeing kind of what she would say if I, if I was looking at pulling the trigger on it. And I, I decided it probably wasn't the best time since I just bought the X-Max. And uh, anyway, he's got some really fun speed run stuff. Great at commenting on videos. Great in, in community. Uh, really dig his comments. They're, they're really definitely thought out. And um, yeah, so the other people that I want to thank are just local guys here. First of all, the hobby shop that I love, Debbie's RC World. Uh, here we have locally that has an indoor, off-road track. They've got an outdoor, on-road track, which I've never run. Uh, and they have, there, it looks like they took their outdoor track and they're going to make it into an oval. I'm not sure what they're doing with that there. I never really ran it much anyway, uh, but their store is big. It's got that kind of mom-and-pop shop feel to it in the way that uh, they interact with you. Uh, it's just they've got so many parts, so many cars, and uh, anytime I need something, I go in there and I either ask them questions, 
and Josh and Brandon, those two guys there have been just a huge help to me since I started about three years ago into RC and broke my first car, the, the Grave Digger, the second day, like literally broken an A-arm. Uh, hit a curb, full speed, yeah, it's, yeah not one of my best moments. Uh, but a lot of cool guys, I ran into a guy, Joe Schmo, locally, at one of the few times I actually go to Hobbytown, I ran into him, he's another YouTuber. Funny guy, uh, hilarious, I mean, you should watch his videos. Uh, he's just got so much energy, and he's just, he's quick-witted and, and just fun to watch. Uh, and he's like that in person, too, he's just, he's just a great guy. Uh, who somebody who I hope that we'll start uh, getting together more often and doing some stuff. But anyway, that's uh, a quick look. I'm hoping I don't miss anybody even on the list I'm doing here. But we're coming to you now. Uh, we've got 4K capability. We've got 360 video virtual reality stuff coming at you. And coming soon is an X-Max. I bought it for this year. Uh, hasn't come in yet. But it'll be something you'll be seeing here early in 2016. I'm hoping it gets here next week. But until then, guys, Happy New Year. Uh, keep RCing, and we'll see you in the next videos, the first of 2016. Peace out.